Hey, I'm Davina Bennett, Miss Universe Jamaica 2017, and these are my views on the sit down. Jamaica 2017 is Davina Bennett. Entering Miss Universe, it's not just about swimwear or coming out in swimwear. That's just a criteria. I believe that if I work out, I do my daily routine, I don't see what's wrong. I don't think there's a problem in being confidently beautiful about yourself and your body. But it was really about self-development, building confidence, building a better woman of today and someone that is able to really impact lives. And there was no better platform than this. So my foundation is the Davina Bennett Foundation for the Deaf. And I am currently training a deaf model. And she has become someone that is really, really close to me, like a sister. You know, she still strives to be someone that follows her dream. And I was like, you know, why not build something that I could really help others like her to just embrace their self and just embrace their dream. When I explain to persons about adversities, there are plenty. And, you know, you have to really learn from each of these. But the main one that has stuck with me from when it happened until now is really when I got robbed. I was on a photo shoot. We were getting ready to leave. Everything was okay. The pictures were on point, all set. And, you know, men just came out of nowhere with guns. We were, you know, put on the ground in execution style. And they basically just took everything that we had. I, I believe that was it for me. I didn't think you know, I would come out alive. I went into a, you know, a very depressed state of mind. I was, I wanted to just lock myself away because like, okay, I could have been dead. Why did I choose to go to this location? Well, I was just blaming myself for everything. In that moment and that time, I just got to understand that you didn't die because you have a purpose. And that was when I had this adrenaline rush that I had to get things done and then that's how my foundation came into play and everything else that it was this big ball of overly ambitious ideas that just came into play I was like okay I need to execute everything because I have a purpose I lived and I must have lived for a reason I am driven I am overly ambitious I am 21 but I think far ahead I don't think today and tomorrow I plan things for today that will impact my future. I am someone that I overcome a lot of adversities. I don't allow my past and these circumstances to stop me. Social identity is really distinctiveness. This is when you identify yourself as being uniquely different or you're from a group that is different. I am Davina and this is my social identity. Black girl, I have natural hair, I have a Jamaican accent. Walk one, Las Vegas. I wouldn't go to London and I know that I'm Jamaican. I'm like, hello, how are you doing? And then all of a sudden I'm British, trying to change who I really am to fit into you know, another area, I wouldn't do that because I embrace my naturality. I also believe that my hair is one of, is really one of my greatest assets. It is what young girls are inspired by to say, oh, you know, Davina, I didn't think that my natural hair would look good. I'd rather, I'd rather to wear this and I'd rather to wear that. But, you know, being a queen that you are and you decide to wear your natural hair, I think I can wear my natural hair too. And I think with that being said, each and everything that makes you uniquely different is what makes us 100% authentic and 100% Jamaican. And I don't think 
there is anything better than being Jamaican. Make yourself be aware of what's happening in your surrounding, not just what's happening in your circle alone, but just accept what is happening in the wider community and just embrace your culture, embrace yourself, make an impact and one love. <laughs>